So in this video, we're looking at retouching a photo. We're gonna look. We're gonna work with two videos here. Um, one is gonna be about sharpening and softening. Uh, this one specifically is gonna be about retouching the face. So right now on the screen, you have your finished product. And there's with this sharpening and softening off. And then here's our retouch layer. So there it is, unretouched, and here it is, retouched. Just for the sake of learning here, I'm going to get rid of all of these layers to show you what we're about to do. Now the first thing we always need to do is duplicate or copy our background or our original photo. And since we are going to retouch this one, we're renaming it, retouch like we have in the past. So next we've got to find our retouch tools over here. And a few tools down you should see something that looks like a band-aid and you're gonna have four or five choices in there if you're in CS6 I think you're gonna have five I'm in CS5 right now and we're gonna start with the spot healing brush now if you choose that you've got brush sizes at the top we don't want our edge too hard and we don't want our size too big now typically when you work on it when you're retouching you wanna zoom in pretty big and work on the smallest areas possible. So I'm going to zoom in about this close, get back to that tool. And now with this spot healing brush, all we do is kind of paint or rub in a spot and it's going to take all the pixels underneath and around and blend them all together. So I'm just going to click on a few spots here to show you that. Now if we get a big area and paint over it. A lot of times we're going to end up with kind of an outline edge or kind of a messed up spot. So this is not necessarily my favorite tool. Now we're going to move to the healing brush. So the spot healing brush I don't use very often. One I use more commonly is the healing brush tool. Now this one's not going to work until we select an area to copy from or paint from. In order to do that, we have to hold down Option. This turns into a target, and I'm going to click a clear area. Once I click that clear area and I start painting, you can see that little plus sign. Now, that little plus sign means that I'm copying pixels from over here. And when I let go, it's going to blend those pixels and the pixels that I painted on together. So every time I move areas, option, click, paint. Option, click, paint. And I think this tool does a really good job of making our retouches look very realistic. But every time I want to change what's called my target point, I have to option, click again. Option, click, paint option click then paint okay and then our last one which most of you are familiar with is our patch tool and our patch tool simply means we're surrounding an area circling it letting go and then pulling it to a cleaner patch or a, an area that we want to cover it up with okay and that's pretty simple and it works pretty well also. You just have to be careful. You can't get into an edge where it's going to pull in. It'll pull in those dark areas. Okay, so you have to be careful about what you're doing. So those are the best tools for retouching.